going on? Taylor here. Uh, headed to the dealership right now because I have a couple of things I need to get squared away in the car before we go on this trip. The uh, recalls. I got the recall for the seatbelt that I never got fixed, which was the big problem last year. Uh, a lot of people trying to pick up their cars and couldn't do it because they were on hold at the lots because they wouldn't have a, uh, they had a stop sale. They wouldn't let them sell. So I got that. There's another one for some wiring harness or something that's in the back underneath that needs to be zip tied up. Uh, I got to get that ad addressed. My squeaky brakes I need to bring up. Um, what else? The Oh, the navigation screen. There was a MyLink update at some point, like around the time I bought the car two years ago, but I never got that fixed. I never fixed, I never got it updated. I never um, got the new version of whatever changes happened in MyLink. I know that I saw somebody right after I bought my car who his screen um, allowed him to see where there was uh, train tracks and trains coming and stuff. So I don't, I don't have that, but I'm thinking that's the MyLink update, which last time I was down at the dealer, they told me that there is an update and uh, I have to schedule it. So going in there today, going to schedule these things because, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. To uh, get these hopefully squared away before we leave. Again, still got to get the uh, alignment done, but uh, other than that, really the only other uh, issues are the check engine lights still, which... I'm not sure I'm even going to get to that before we leave, depending on weather, because I, I got to get on the lift. But um, the other thing I want to bring up is the 20% off deal right now for SSs that are brand new. Now, a lot of people are upset about this because they bought their car and didn't get the deal. And last year, they, I think, announced it on like either June 1st or July 1st. I remember it was in the summer. And it was 20% off, which for this car equates to somewhere in the neighborhood of eight to $10,000 discount off the car. No questions asked, just that's it. But then, like I said, the seatbelt thing put a stop sale on a lot of the cars, so you got the deal, but you couldn't get the car. So they sat on lots until you could actually get the fix and get your car. Well, that was a big shock last year to a lot of people. Nobody really saw that coming. It was a great deal for people that ended up buying it with the 20% off, but there was a lot of people that bought their cars before that, like just before that, and uh, were a little upset about it, understandably. They paid 20%, they paid the full price, they didn't get a discount. So I remember being asked last year when that all happened if I was upset about it, which a little bit, because uh, there are some people locally that bought the identical car to mine, the you know Jungle Green six-speed manual, and they got 20% off. They paid much less than I did. but. You know, when I bought the car, I paid the price I paid, and I was okay with the price, so I bought it, and whatever. Not a huge deal. Uh, am I a little upset? Kind of, but truthfully, it affects resale value, but again, that's only for selling the car, not selling the car. Uh, now that it's supercharged, definitely not selling it, and it's worth a different amount anyway, so I don't really care too much. But the other thing is um, my car specifically, there's really not a lot of them available, um, as you'll see here. All right, so as you can see here, there are five new and used SSs for sale in the entire country on cars.com that are 2016, 15, green. Um, basically, here's the point. This first one, that's Mystic Green. Go down, Regal Peacock Green with an automatic. There's a jungle green, but it's got an automatic. Then another one, Mystic Green, and another one, which is clearly Regal Peacock Green. My point is, there's one jungle green for sale in the entire country, and it's an automatic. So I'm not too worried about my car and the fact that I paid a little more, uh, a lot more than most people did or are going to in the next couple of days here with this 20% off discount. And as you can see, there's there's only one jungle green for sale in the whole country on cars.com right now, and it's an automatic. So my car uh, right now, this new 20% off deal for 2017s, which this is a shocker because it's literally hitting right when the cars start arriving, um, you can't get a jungle green anymore. They don't make them. So I don't really care. It's not like there's going to be more people getting into the same car I have for less money than I paid. But for people who did order a car and it's happening to show up within this window of, you know, whatever it is, two, three weeks of GM doing this discount, 
uh, they're lucking out. They're just getting literally free money, free $10,000 discount off their car that they didn't see coming. Doesn't come out of this dealership's hide and it's fine. Uh, my friend, in fact, his car, he hasn't got it yet. It's showing up sometime soon and uh, he's getting that. His, his salesman called him and just let him know and okay, sure, thanks. Thanks for $10,000 discount. That's more for aftermarket parts for him. So good for him, but you know, some people bought their cars a couple of weeks ago. I could see why they'd be upset and, you know, not a knock on anybody who's got black, white, or silver, but I feel like if you paid full price for one of those, um, especially an automatic, you know, one of the most common combinations, the, you paid full price for that, now there's a deal, I could, I, I get that, I can see why you'd be a little upset. Um, again, it's, it's, it's something that does kind of suck and there's no reversing it. When you sign the deal, you agree to the terms, the bank's on board with the loan and the dealership gets their money. And it's not like the dealer screwed you, it's not the bank that screwed you. I mean, if you wanna blame somebody, blame General Motors. You know, General Motors put forth this discount and didn't tell anybody they were doing it, which, why would they? They obviously, if they would've said that, they wouldn't have sold any cars until the discount hit. So, the flip side of it is, what else could GM have done? Well, they could have advertised the car better because I think this discount is just an incentive to move cars. And the 20% off is a huge hit to their bottom line. There's revenue, you know, that's 10 grand per car less coming in. But their only other option, I think, was spend the money on advertising, which I would argue for such a small run, small volume car, the advertising would have cost far more than this discount they're giving to the majority of the people that buy them. And you know, the alternative is to do neither. Don't advertise it, don't discount it. Well, now they're gonna sit on lots and that hurts their dealers and the dealers don't wanna be sitting on inventory. So I think what they're doing is good, it works. It's getting the cars out there. I know a few people that have picked up on the deal. Uh, I actually had a friend last year through work who was looking at one of these, who sent me a link to a used one. And uh, he sent me a link to a used one and it was like 38 grand, I wanna say. It was black or, or white, I don't remember. Uh, you know, like 18,000 miles, and he asked me about it. I said, dude, buy a brand new one, man, 20% off. You can't beat the deal. So he went and did that, took advantage of it, and got a 2017, or 2016, sorry. And, uh, you know, he came out ahead on that deal, which I think a lot of people should do. But uh, we're pulling into the dealer now, so uh, I'll be right back. So we're out of the dealership. Uh, apparently they have to order the parts for the seatbelt thing and he really didn't care to hear about the other things I needed fixed because they're not scheduling anything until after that part shows up. So let's hope the part shows up before, uh, before it's too late for me to go on vacation. Um, also, so I did mention to the guy the brake squeak thing and I'm pretty sure that was a service thing, service bulletin. But uh, I know there's some of you guys get different pads. I, th I think I've heard Hawk pads. So, is it worth it for me to have these people? Uh, is it worth it for me to have these people do the brake thing, do the weird fix, whatever they're going to do with like copper gel or something? I've heard. Um, or should I just get new brakes and do it that way? New brake pads. All right. The other thing is, uh, so the Tale of the Dragon trip. I've never been, and I'm kind of curious as to what to even expect. I don't know. Is there like restaurants along the way or you know scenic spots to stop off and take pictures i really don't know i just know that it's a supposedly it's an excellent driving road so um i also don't know like how long it is i, don't, I mean is this something that you get through in 20 minutes or is it like an hour through the mountains um be nice to know i know somebody out there you commented that you go through on your motorcycle which i think would be a hell of a lot of fun if i still had my bike but um just curious what it you know what it's about because i know it's a fun driving road but i don't know you know, is it littered with police? Is it, you know, a lot of tourism, people driving through there that are gonna clog it up, you know, me included, I don't know. So if you've been there, please let me know what it's what to expect. As of right now, our plan is to be down in that area about like March 19th um, and stay there for about a week. So if anybody's local there or in the area and would wanna meet up and, uh, and you know, cruise through there together, that's cool too, but uh, you know, that's when we'll be there. Not sure which day specifically we're gonna go and do that. Um, obviously, again, weather permitting, so uh, let me know. 
Oh, one more thing about the 20% off. So, left the dealership, and on their website, they showed four of them, um, four 2017 SSs, which one of them was slipstream blue stick shift. The other three were all automatics, automatics, and they were white, regal peacock green, and nightfall gray. Well, I kind of really just wanted to see the nightfall gray in person because, um, you know, I'm sure I'll see one eventually through the club meets and everything, but I'm just curious what they look like. But my wife really wanted to see the white one because she is honestly kind of interested in it, which, you know, a lot of things would have to be perfect for that to work out for us. But, you know, we kind of this morning talked about the possibility of trading in uh, her Evo or selling her Evo and the Jeep and just having two cars. So that way we save on insurance, but that would mean I'd have to drive this year round. She would drive that year round. But since the season, you know, nicer weather's starting to get here sooner, it would save us some money. But I don't know. Some of you guys out there have two SSs. I don't know, you know, how do you guys like that as far as two cars in your family that are the same? I mean, I've always, growing up, there was people across the street that had two of the same car, and it was like, I don't know, just kind of weird. But, you know, what's it like? You only have no variety, just different color or uh, whatever. So, just curious. All right, so again, as always, please uh, let me know your thoughts on Tail of the Dragon. Those of you that have been there or live around there know what it's like because uh, I need to know what to expect. And for those of you who are on the fence about buying one of these, uh, drop everything right now and go buy one. 20% off, can't, you know, can't miss that deal. It's, uh, it's too good to be true because this thing is it's a lot of a car for not a lot of money. And when you factor in that 20% off, it's... A really great deal um, you know I've said in previous videos like the Charger scat pack you can get for about 40 grand uh, base price but you don't get leather you don't get navy I don't think you don't get a sunroof uh, there's a lot of things you don't get so this car for 37 to 40 grand depending on options and where you're at uh, is one hell of a deal so I can't stress that enough if you can afford two shit go buy two um, they're they're that great so let me know your thoughts on Tale of the Dragon. Let me know if you guys have, uh, if you guys took advantage of the 20% off deal or if you're somebody that bought a car and then the deal happened and you, you know, how do you feel about that? Cause you know, like I said with my car, I, I'm in love with the way my car is. I love the jungle green, I love the stick shift. And uh, also mine's a 15, which 15s they never did the discount on. It was 16 and 17. And to be perfectly honest, I, I'm not a fan of the black hood vents on the jungle green. I think the red brake calipers clash with the jungle green. Um, but, and you lose the CD player, not that I really even use it, but I still have it. Uh, Bi-mode exhaust, I have a different exhaust system, so that wouldn't have mattered to me, but uh, those of you that, you know, were really, really screwed by it, let me know. And those of you that took advantage of it, let me know also, because uh, I know there's a lot of people picking these things up and a lot of people in the area. Uh, it'd be really cool to come hang out and uh, see them all. You know, as the weather gets nicer, it'd be great to see some of those hot rods out, but We'll see. We'll see when the weather gets nice. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and comment. And have a wonderful afternoon. Sorry, my sucky kids are sucking now. <laughs> it's from The Simpsons. Man, they're the sucky Man, sucks that ever sucked. sucked. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. My damn wiener kids are listening. <laughs> Are you gonna cut that out? I don't know. No. <laughs> no. <laughs>